Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, long story short, as I told you guys in my last vlog a while ago, uh, my mom had a stroke. So uh, I've been helping take care of her and my grandmother. Uh, my I'm basically doing it more or less alone Tuesday night until Saturday evening. And, like, her boyfriend will come and, like, my mom's boyfriend will come and, like, stay with her for a couple hours. So then I just gotta worry about grandma. Uh, but it's just been, uh, really, you know, busy because of those two. You know, again, I'm both, mom is actually walking with a walker now, which is amazing. But I still have to, like, you know, help her, like, you know, get her meals. And if she wants something, she can't use her hands. So I want to, like, you know, get her stuff. My grandmother, I basically, you know, I'm her legs, uh, I get her in and, out of, you know, in and out of a wheelchair, I bring her to the table for breakfast, lunch and dinner, uh, I bring them outside, and I basically just take care of them full time, uh, all week, which is, um, it can be a lot, but, hey, I'm not complaining. Well, my eye looks like it's black and blue, didn't notice that till now. Uh, I had surgery a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of weeks, two weeks ago, where they actually lifted my eyelid up, and, well, is that, I don't know if that's the lighting, if my eye really is black and blue. Looks bruised. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, but yeah, that's why, uh, I have, like, a scar, or not scar, like, stitches here, because they basically lifted my eyelid so I don't have to hold it open all the time, because ever since I was little, I didn't have the muscle in my eye to, like, leave it open, so it was always like this. And seeing your eye, like, I don't know if you see, but, like, it's more or less closed. Uh, and I had to, like, lift it, like, open all the way. Like, I could never lift, I know I look crazy, but I could never lift it like this until my surgery. And now I can lift it, but it, it hurts. So I called my doctor, and I'm like, yeah, um, I think I have, like, something's wrong because it still hurts. Like, oh, you know, it could be an infection. So he wants to meet me, so I have to I'm taking a Medicaid transportation all the way, like two hours away, to see this doctor again. And I'm just hoping it's nothing that they have to like take the like take the uh, thing out of my eye that was helping it lift. I'm hoping it doesn't like have to reverse the surgery. You know, of course me, I worry about everything, I overthink everything. So that's my big worry right now is, oh god, you know something's gonna go wrong. And boom. I was going nuts, and I was going nuts because, like, during the week, nobody here can watch, you know, nobody can watch my grandmother and my mother except me, and there are people who are like, oh, let me help, let me help, but they're never around, more or less, they, they always say it, but they're just being nice, so I'm, like, the only one except for my aunt, who works all day during the week, and her and I, and, oh, and her boyfriend, Donnie, who he's been, like, a lifesaver, but, like, three of us, like, try and, like, juggle my mother and grandmother together, but we make it work. We do. My aunt is a clean freak, so I have like we had to close our my house down for the winter because like when my mom out of work, the finances were just too hard. It was too much, and it was just too much to hold up two houses on like what I get a month with my social security. My aunt trying to you know my aunt's money and she has to hold up her house too. So we shut down my house, and I'm now staying back at my grandmother's, in my own bedroom, which is really awesome. And I was able to bring back basically everything I had that I wanted to. I had my nice little bar that I was able to bring back. I got my TV, my Xbox I was able to bring back. So it really doesn't, you know, it's not that bad. So sometimes, like, I just, it drives me a little crazy. Like, I need privacy, <laughs> and just, you know, it's just driving me a little crazy back here. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, I don't regret it for a second. Uh, but, yeah, I've been taking care of my mother and my grandmother and helping with them, and it's just... The other day I was actually crying because I was thinking about it. Uh, how many people... Like, this is what I, like, I, I cherish these times so much. How many people can say that they can pay their, you know, the people back that gave them life? The people that did, you know, so much for them, that made them who they are. How many people can actually say they were able to pay them back? And, like, for me, like, my mother and my grandmother, like, my dad was around too, don't get me wrong. 
my mother and grandmother, they just made me to this person I am saved. They made me to this strong, good person that I am. My grandmother kicked me in the butt when I needed it. My mother, you know, always was there to defend me if I needed it. They were always there for me. And to just be able to be there for them. To help care for them. To kind of, in a way, pay them back for everything they did for me. I'm so happy I could do that. And yes, like, by the end of the week, my aunt really laughed because, like, by the end of, like, my shift, at the end of the week, on, like, Friday, Saturday, I'm going a little crazy, you know, cabin fever, and you just go stir crazy. It's nothing bad, you know, they don't do anything bad. It's just, you just start going stir crazy with, the both calling you and stuff, and it just goes, you know, go a little nuts. <laughs> but, I've been helping, you know, I really just haven't, I've been trying to hold it in because I hate, you know, I don't like being, like, yelling at them. When my aunt walks in, I'm just like, she's like, hey, Corey, can you do this? And I'm doing something. And she's like, Corey, are you aware you just put the empty container back in the fridge? And I'm like, did I? Oh, I really, I don't know. And then, like, I'll just do stupid stuff. And she's like, Corey, you're, you're going a little crazy now. And I'm like, yeah, it's the, it's the end of the week. It's my time to go crazy. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it, it, it's a lot. But... Like I said, I wouldn't trade it for anything. But that's why I've been away so much. I'm going to try and blog a little more. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, writing while I've been here. You know, when they, you know, when the girls are both relaxed, I sit down and I try and write a little. I'm 29 pages into my first novel. Ow, sorry. Like I said, it hurts. Ooh, okay, it's gone now. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, anyway, I'm 29 pages into my first novel I'm writing. It's about a guy who, he's a city boy, goes city to city, scamming people in poker. And he ends up winning, like, he wins money, like, everywhere he goes. But he's dressed, like, very, like, very, like, poor. Where he's, like, dirty, dir dirty, uh, work boots, a uh, ripped denim jacket. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at him that he's rich. Because he appreciates the little things. But he's also a pig, and he, like, flirts with any girl he sees. And he ends up meeting a girl who, like, she comes on very strong, and she's, like, hitting on him. And he's like, oh, you know what? I'm not really into small town. I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't have time for you. And he ends up finding out that that woman is the wife of a cop. So he ends up trying to leave town. But a blizzard hit, so he gets stuck there. Ends up at a bar where he meets the bartender. And the bar owner, who are both, you know, the bar owner is a little older than the 21-year-old bartender. And they're having an affair. The bar owner is married. And it turns out the bartender's stepmother is the girl that he met at the store. Like the girl I told you about. And it's, it's basically, think of a soap opera. It's going to be like a novel, like a soap opera and a novel. But it's, it's coming along really well. It's got to uh, write a little more. Because I've, I've stopped writing the past few days. I just, like, I haven't had the motivation. And that's the only bad thing about, you know, helping with these guys is, like, if I don't go out on Saturday, I'm in for the rest of the, like, my time. Like, I haven't gone out out in, like, two weeks. Because it's just, you know, if I don't feel like going out Saturday, then, like, I don't like going, like, to, like, the, a bar or anything on Sunday, because I feel like they, you know, if you go to a bar like Sunday night, people are like, ew, you know, you going out on a weeknight, what's, what the hell's up with you? Like, I just feel like it looks bad, especially living in a small town, I don't want people to think I'm lush, but I've had like cabin fever, and like, that kind of gets me very down, and just very, like, I feel like it's shut in, just like, I feel like I lose a lot of, you know, I just, I lose, what's it called, a lot of energy when I'm like, just in the house all the time. But I'm trying to, like, you know, deal with that through, I've been doing, like, the DDP yoga. I've lost 10 pounds in two months. Not a lot, but it's a start. Uh, and I've been trying to just do things to kind of keep my mind going so I don't lose it. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. And I'm trying to write so I don't lose my, you know, because I've been writing. I've been looking different stuff up. Like, I'm actually learning how to do different things. I'm learning about aromatherapy. And I'm trying to, like, learn different, you know, hobbies and stuff because... I want to keep myself busy, but it's just been a lot. Like, like, like I said, though, like I've been through. My mother and my grandmother have been through over fifty surgeries with me. Like growing up, like I, like I, I told you guys this before, this nose was not here. It was flat, no bones in it at all, and the nostrils were just two pinholes. 
this eye was not here. This is a glass eye. I'm attempting to take it out, but I won't. But I had no glass eye, and it was just like the underdeveloped eye. This eye, as I, like I said, it wasn't really open that much, so I had to hold it open. I had so much work done on my head, and like I have so many scars. Not even funny. I don't know if you can see them. Well, I have a lot of scars, uh, like right here. Uh, I have a scar going ear to ear. I don't know if you can see, but uh. You can't really see it, but, you know, they've been through hell and back with me. Countless surgeries, countless, just, a lot, like, they've been through a lot with me. And it's just my way of hanging back, and I don't regret it for a second. Except when I'm ready to kill them, but, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna vlog, like I said, I'm gonna vlog more, and see what happens. Alright guys, sorry for this, it's very fast talking short vlog, but I hope it just explains where I've been and what I've been up to. Alright, guys.